Okay, I wanted to do a walkthrough video of this other ice cream truck that I purchased a couple years ago, just about two years now. Um, it's a 1975 Ford P400 Ford step van. It uh, used to be Mr. Soft Truck, as far as I know. Um, it is missing a, it used to have up top right there, it had a, I would think it's one of those uh, arms that come out stop with the stop sign on it of course i don't have that so that's that there is missing and it looks like it had a mirror right there on the end of that like a uh around mirror and so you could see down in front of the truck here um i think it's a little bit of a mess right now you can tell it's been sitting here uh cleaned it up a couple times but it could use a, another bath here but hoping to get this on the road by june uh that's my expectation right now it's middle of september uh by june this one should be on the road the other one which is right over here is going to be on the road here yet this year um just waiting get some paperwork through with the uh, department of revenue and department of agriculture and get it out here and get the uh food safety uh, inspection on that one there but I'm gonna go ahead and open up the hood here and show you the inside. Okay, now that I got the hood open, I wanted to show you what's underneath the hood here. Not much, it's a straight six cylinder. Uh, the thing runs and sounds good. Uh, it needs a new brake master cylinder, which I did get. And uh, this one actually, the heat works on this one, it looks like, where on my other truck it doesn't. This one, mechanically, other than not having a transmission, it doesn't have a transmission. The transmission is uh, out of it. Uh, other than that, uh, this one here is mechanically a lot better than shape than the other one was. It shouldn't ha have any problem passing inspection once I get the transmission. And this one has a, a uh, non-power steering, so it doesn't have power steering, which uh, will probably be a little fun to drive. But anyway, I'm going to take you around the truck here and show you the outside of it first, and then we'll go on the inside. So uh, I've got the serving window here, which I got on the other side. You can see right through the truck there. It does have dual wheels on the back of it, but currently not on the truck. It's got a single wheel on uh, the truck right now in the back here, since I'm not using it. But those are front wheels. Those are not for dual wheels. So, And then back here, uh, where the generator is supposed to be, which I do not have a generator in this truck. It's got an ingenious thing here that they came up with. This little door handle here comes out comes out of the truck so that nobody has access to it once it's locked um, my goal with this for next year is to have it sitting at a permanent location uh, if that falls through I'll just get a generator for it which is pretty pricey probably gonna cost me 10 grand but anyway uh, it's got a nice uh, it's got the hot water heater back here it's got the water tank back here it's got some condensers back here for the coolers and the ice cream machine uh it's got a, actually the vent there it's got a fan in it which the other truck does not it's got two fans up here on the top to keep it cool back here and uh got a couple outlets in here uh the copper tubing here to fill up the water that burst because it didn't get the water drained out of it one of the windows here i don't know it was before I got it, I believe. Um, look at look at this old uh, light that it has on here. Look at how long that bulb is. That thing is what six, eight feet long, somewhere around there. It's gonna get replaced with LED. A lot better for me. A lot uh, easier to maintain. I don't have to worry about it breaking. Another ingenious thing on these trucks is this rear bumper. You, you kids can't stand on it. It has this, uh, where the lights are, it comes out. Uh, so there's no way for anybody to stand on the back of it, which is another excellent thing. If anybody has ever driven an ice cream truck before, you get in some bad neighborhoods, and the little kids, if that's what you want to call them, monsters, some of them are, they'll climb all over your truck. And uh, when they're on the back here, they're hard to get back, they're hard to get off and get out of there at the same time. Uh, it's uh, a treat sometimes <laughs> but anyway uh, so that the same handle that closes the locks the back door also locks the gas door and locks the diesel door 
Gas is for the engine in the truck. Diesel is for the generator when it has one in it. And here's the serving window on this side here. Uh, it's got a bell on this one here. Um, it also has a music box. I, I believe, I'm not sure if there is one in here or not. We can take a look and see. Right, really check that out. The door's a little stiff on this. There's the drive shaft. Here's the driver's seat. A little disgusting right now. Um, hmm. Does it have a music box in this one? I don't know that it does. But the interior of this one's a lot better than the other one was. And uh, I really like this truck though. It's, I don't know, it's just perfect size. It's small and a lot smaller than the other truck. Uh, it's got the electro freeze machine right here. Looks like everything's in good shape on that. It's got a wooden floor on these, which is weird. Right now it's got, this is just a vinyl cover flooring over top of the wooden floor. I guess, from what I understand, a lot of the Mr. Softy trucks, the original ones, had wooden floor in them. And then here's the uh, Electro Freeze soft serve machine. It has just the two heads on it, not a mixed head on it. So, and this is a pump fed machine versus the gravity fed. This is different than the one we have over there. If you've seen our videos in the other truck, completely different system. And it's got a uh, pretty good size uh, chest freezer here. I got some my equipment inside of here. And it's got the four bay sink. So you got three bays plus a wash or a hand wash sink. It's got the sink down here in the floor. Not exactly sure what that's for. It also has the bulb lighting in here, the fluorescent lighting, which I'm going to go ahead and replace with LED. It's got that on both sides. Uh, it's got cold storage underneath here. It has, uh, I think one of these is a freezer, which I'm thinking that one. And these two over here. There's two doors, but it's just the same same cooler over here. It has the serving window here, which is a cute little window. Opens up here. I mean, the only thing with this, you're standing way up in the air. And with the way they have this here, which I'm going to replace this on the outside here with the perforated vinyl so I can see through it because I, I mean I'm standing up here I can't see anything out there I'd have to duck way down here and look around see if there's anything out there but I'm putting perforated vinyl on that so I can actually see and actually let more light in than this here uh, it's got some storage here on the side I guess that's probably where you like put your cone boxes got some storage up there it's just it needs it needs a little bit of love of course it has a central air up here um it's a nice little truck and i'm looking forward to getting it on the road i'm hoping that uh like i said by june it should be on the road should have been on the road already but of course i haven't taken care of it like i should been a little laxed on getting some things done there's some other things to do around here but that is that oh, i'm looking forward to sharing some updates with you on this one it's probably not gonna get updated until the spring and this one over here we definitely have some more updates coming on this uh we got to show you uh we replaced in the uh the old uh fluorescent bulbs with led led lighting which uh i'll show you that i already replaced some over here on this side but we'll get a little more involved in that uh another video but i just wanted to share with you this this truck over here you guys got any questions or comments or ideas for me on this truck uh, please share them thank you